You know, a couple weeks ago when I was talking about how a bad sketch can really make you question your abilities as an artist. Ever did a sketch you found so bad that you feel like the worst artist? Well, that's this one. But we will bring this back. Well, it's the same for the good ones. I was worried a little bit because I don't usually add people to my urban sketches, but I love how this came out. If you haven't seen the sketch video, here's a quick recap. Olivia's Garden is a local plant shop and cafe, and I really wanted to capture the building's lightness as well as the contrast of the liveliness of the inside versus the fairly stoic exterior. Like most of my sketches, I started with a fairly whimsical line work using a fountain pen. I then layer on colors with the markers before returning with the pen to solidify a lot of the lines. My final step is to bring back the highlights and accentuate any tiny details with the white acrylic. Actually, that's a lie. My final step is making this video where I show you how I go in and add the final touches and pop the contrast. This should be a fairly simple one today. I really only want to go in and add some texture to the top windows here. Add a little bit more contrast in the, the main window. Have these people pop out a little bit more. I also want to go in and darken that, the, the areas in shadow. I think the last thing I want to do is bring back this area here with the whites a little bit just to show a little bit of definition. And then maybe I'll, I'll touch the, um, the name of the shop right up here. The top of the window is pretty simple. It looks like they just have um, some blinds coming down. So I'll add that in, see what it looks like. have to make sure to follow the perspective lines here. That looks good. I dig it. I want to make this area a little darker because this person's wearing the same color clothing as as the building itself. Let's get these areas darker. It's always nice going back and glazing the Pascas because sometimes the white is just so stark and by glazing it you really darken it a little bit. Just adding a little bit of texture here. It doesn't really do anything, but it, it gives an overall impression of space. A lot of plants in this building, so I just wanna, wanna add them back. Let me give a little impression of more in the background. And I think the last thing I'm gonna do is add a little bit of the sidewalk. I 
this highlight the bottom of the the store name to add that little bit of contrast and bring back some of the white. I made the mistake of using the same orange for this person's hat. So let me just add a little bit of red there. And this other person had a white hat, but I'm gonna make this black, just give it a little texture. And I'll do the same with the greens here. I think that's it. Pretty quick and simple this week. Doesn't the interior look like it has a little bit more life now? I love how the added green and scribbles from the Posca created extra depth. It really feels more alive. The people pop out so much more now that I've darkened and added shadows to the part of the building where they're standing. And just adding a bit of line work to the apartment window really makes it seem like someone actually lives there and it's not just an empty void. If that previous sketch brought me down, this one was a confidence booster. You're an artist, right? If you're watching this, you probably are. So you'll know how long it takes to make these types of videos. It actually takes me over 10 hours to make the sketch video and these after sketch ones. If you found value in these, can you do me a favor and take 10 seconds to subscribe and share this video or channel with a friend? Here are my previous videos. Sit back, relax, let autoplay do its thing.